Welcome back to Aspire. Now we are going to talk tech and uh, we are getting down to a review of the HTC One. But before that, here's the tech buzz. The Lumia 520 has hit the Indian market. At 10,500, this is the cheapest Windows Phone 8 device in the market. But it doesn't compromise in features as such. Powered by a 1 GHz dual-core Snapdragon processor, it has a 4-inch screen with 800 by 400 pixel resolution. Inbuilt memory of 8 GB with the option of expandable memory up to 64 GB and a 5 megapixel camera. The Lumia 520 is available in bright colors such as yellow, red and cyan apart from white and black. If you are looking for a quality product at this range, the Lumia 520 should definitely be on your list. Facebook will soon become the center of attention on your Android phone. At least, that's what the social giant wants. The company announced a new way interface for Android devices that puts your Facebook feed at the top of it all. Similar to any launcher or some would say like the Flipboard app. Facebook Home puts content right on your home screen. You can swipe across the screen to check out updates. And to go to your regular apps, you can swipe up through the launcher. Another cool add-on is Chat Heads, which works over the system like a pop-up to keep your chat conversations on top. So you don't have to leave your app to respond to a message. Facebook Home will be available from the 12th of April, starting with new HTC and Samsung devices. Okay, as promised, we're getting you a first look today of the HTC One. That's the new flagship device from HTC, which is known, in fact, for very innovative designs when it comes to smartphones, whether it be the Desire or even the One X. And now this. Yes, the HTC now coming out with the One, and this is among its first uh, flagship devices that comes in an all-metal body. But is it good enough to take on the competition with all the stuff they've packed in? We're doing a review. <laughs> Last year, HTC took out the One X and we loved the design on that phone. It clearly stood out from all the other Android phones in the market. And now, HTC has done it again, taking that design philosophy from plastic to metal. It's a step in the right direction, but does it have enough oomph to become the most wanted Android? Let's find out. When every other company is making plastic phones, the HTC One will definitely stand out. A matte finished aluminium alloy, a curved back and very slim towards the edges. Even the volume rocker and the power key feel very minimalistic without compromising on functionality. The back of the phone flaunts the camera, the HTC logo and at the base the Beats Audio logo. The front is taken over by a 4.7 inch full HD screen. This makes it the sharpest screen among smartphones with 468 pixels per inch. It has two buttons at the base, a back key and a home key, with an HTC logo in the middle. There's a front facing camera and probably the most important design element are the two speakers on the top and the bottom of the device. This is unique as most phones have speakers at the back or the side. So when you're watching anything or listening to music, you get sound that's directed towards you and the output is brilliant. So good that it's the best we have come across in a smartphone. Overall, it feels great to hold and feels snug compared to other large screen phones. Even when compared to the iPhone 5, one would have to say that the HTC One is in a league of its own and probably the best looking Android device ever. On the software front, it comes with Android Jelly Bean and HTC does have a new approach for the home screen with a new Sense user interface. Unlock the device and you're greeted by Blink Feed, which is basically a flipboard style feed from social media like Facebook and Twitter. You can scroll down through the tiles and customize what you want to see. You can even post anything directly from the home screen. You can press the home key to access apps, which is a very familiar ground for Android users. Now this is very similar to Facebook Home, except that Blink Feed also lets you see Twitter updates. Now that's a great feature because if HTC actually works on the Sense UI and adds compatibility for more softwares like Instagram or Pinterest, it could work very well for them. We checked out the performance of the phone with some basic browsing and gaming and couldn't find anything to complain about. Videos look great on the full HD screen and the sound quality is brilliant. The camera on the HTC One 
is 4 megapixels and don't let that frighten you because it's not all about the pixels but also the pixel size. HTC's Ultra Pixel technology incorporates larger pixels than any other smartphone which means better low light shots and a higher dynamic range. Bottom line, a great camera for low light situations. We love everything about the HTC One, the look and feel, great camera, brilliant screen, great sound. In fact, for the last couple of days that I've been using it, I couldn't find any flaw with it, which is very rare. Even though it's priced at 42,900 rupees, it does feel premium and has everything going for it. It will compete with the Samsung Galaxy S4 when that comes out in a month and it will be difficult for the S4 to take down the HTC One. Until then, this is the most wanted Android. Well, it does stand out from all the other plasticky ones in the market. Let's see if HTC can cash in on this one. <laughs> yes, and now we'll take a little breather on this edition of It's Bar. But coming up, we're talking to Mark Henderson of Geese and Hawks, talking to him about bespoke tailoring, something India has known all along. But what's his version? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> 